This reading is for Aries. And if you don't feel that it resonates with you, you can check your other placements. This is for Aries singles for the second half of March. We have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Some of you could have recently broken up with an earth sign. We have the Seven of Cups, so you may be looking at your options now, trying to figure out how to proceed. Some of you may be using alcohol or other substances to, you know, kind of cope with this ending with this earth sign. We have the Queen of Cups in reverse at the root of the reading, so you may have also had an ending with a water sign. It can be male or female. And in the coming days and weeks position, we have the Nine of Swords. So I see you having maybe trouble sleeping, Aries. Um, with the Page of Swords in reverse, you're not wanting to look at anyone. Um, it's sort of like you're doing shadow work here as well, I can see in this deck with this figure appearing up here. And then, oh, sorry, that um, Page of Cups got pushed back. So with the Knight, with the Page of Swords in reverse, it's like you're doing inner work here, battling your own demons your shadow work and not wanting to really look at what anyone else is doing because it might influence you but this is going to help you move forward quickly here Aries so with that being said you know I see like you're feeling some instability now I read reversals as blockages so with the page of cups in reverse and the four of wands in reverse this is a potentiality to turn upright in the next uh, month or two outcome particularly still Aries season I feel like because we have water and fire you know, for you to, one of your friendships to blossom possibly into, um, you know, like a soulmate that you may have quite a more of a future with to establish still, if that makes sense. So I sometimes when I'm being intuitive, my words get a little muddled. Uh, I do a lot of readings within three minutes. If you ever would like a personal reading with me to look specifically at your situation, you can go to, I'll put the links below. So anyways, um, six of pentacles in reverse. Yeah. And so Doing this inner work means, you know, getting over and cutting these losses, not focusing on the people in the past. And also, I feel like with the Nine of Swords, the way to flip this energy around here is going to be to do journaling, free writing. I recommend that for my clients a lot. Writing three pages a day. You can either time yourself for 15 minutes, or you can, I don't know if you guys can see those there, or you can write um, three pages, like a journal notebook, and you just free write, and you don't reread it and analyze it. I mean, you can reread it, but don't analyze it. Set it aside, um, and your subconscious mind, it brings things to the surface. It's also good to do uh, dream journaling. When you wake up, try to remember your dreams and do that. That can clear out a lot of subconscious blocks as well and help flip this potential future around. You see, because if it wasn't if it was an opposite future, it would be different cards to indicate, you know, that poor outcome. So these are just potentialities or they wouldn't have shown up. Uh, with the six of cups in reverse, for a lot of you, it's not going to be someone from your past. It's going to be like a new friendship. So it's not going to be this earth sign or this water sign. But I do see commitment and marriage coming in for you, probably during Taurus season. And you may be a little hesitant because you may not have been in a relationship or commitment for a while. Again, Taurus season. Watch out. Some of you may be fertile. Um, the three of wands. Yes, your ships are coming in. So I do feel like in May is more, you know, this is the month or two outcome when you're going to be getting the results that you want if you do that inner work. Um, and right now, let's just clarify coping. Um, yeah, I don't feel like this water sign is going to be coming back to you. I feel like you two are not trying to, you know, make a resolution here. And also, if it's an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, you may not be trying to manifest them either. Two of Pentacles in reverse, it's sort of like you're letting go of the struggle, letting go of the back and forth um, with this past person. With the Hangman in reverse and this water sign, it could very well be a Pisces that you're letting go of. Um, you know, you just couldn't seem to find balance. A lot of times, the Hangman is about perspective, but it can also be in reverse out of balance. So kind of like justice in reverse. In the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, you feel like you put a lot of time and energy into something that didn't really result in much. And there were a lot of secrets that you may or may not have found out. So yeah, see the Seven of Cups is options. There's this fire sign coming in. You know, I was feeling that with the Four of Wands there. Um, in the month outcome, like Aries season, you reconnecting with, not reconnecting for some of you. Maybe it could be a friend that you're reconnecting with. Um, 
And then we have the three of, it could be someone new as well and slightly younger for some of you as well. Um, it could even be another water sign. But the three of pentacles in reverse shows me right now you're feeling a little unstable due to these losses, clarifying, you know, the seven of cups. And like with the queen of wands, Aries, you really are in your power and it's a good time to make moves as the queen of wands and strategize. And with the knight of wands, you may be getting some action from some of these options, the seven of cups. Um, but I don't feel like that true commitment and that fertile future is going to really come in. I mean, we have fire again. So for some of you, it will be April. Some of you, it's going to take through until May. But I do feel like out of these options, there's someone you're very passionate about, a little reserved about. And this could be someone you're connecting with as a friend currently. But, um, you know, I, I watch a lot of tarot videos and I know that a lot of you do not want to reconnect with people from the past. So for a lot of you, this is a new connection with the Six of Cups in reverse. But I do feel like for some of you, it's someone that you're already connecting with. And that connection is just going to get a little stronger. But in the coming days and weeks position, you'll be a little bit in your head about it. Kind of with tunnel vision on. Um, but wanting to move forward here. Emotionally, you'll feel pushed to move forward. But you're, you know, watch your head versus your heart here. So I think that about sums it up for you, Aries. If you would like personal reading with me, again, the links are below. Uh, and I'm Madeline. If you want to find me on Psychic Spold, readings.psychicspold.com. I'm just trying to think of any other announcements before I go. I'm going to be trying to do uh, all 12 signs as frequently as I can. I got a little bit new of a setup and uh, schedule, so um, let's see. I'm, you know, eventually I'll get back to the big 144 series for those of you that are waiting on that. And look, there's one other little bookend I wanted to tell all of you. Um, I, when I get around to it, I will start putting the links for the decks below again as well. And I. Sending you all lots of love, blessings, and light. This reading is timeless for whenever you find it, but if you did, you know, find it right away within, uh, then all the more power to you. And we did have that time frame of Aries season through Taurus, so if you're watching this next December, I would apply it, you know, four months out from there, four to five months. So I hope this helps. Love and light.